Serbia this year have internally selected Dunja Jelalic and the song You La La La. It's all in Serbian, and um, yeah, let's just begin. Emily, first thoughts on you, la la la. <laughs> um, when I first started listening to it, I wasn't entirely sure. It was the first time I was hearing her voice, and it's quite a mature sounding voice. But um, as I was uh, listening like later on, it actually really suits the song. Um, and personally, I really like the song. Um, it's really catchy and it's so cheesy. Like, and I I love the uh, Serbian language when it's quite a cheesy song. For example, Eurovision two thousand and ten. That was very like cheesy, um, Balkan music, and like I I just really like that. I think I'm a big fan of it. So I know other people probably won't agree with me, but I think it is actually my number one so far. <laughs> um. We are saying that people maybe not agreeing with you. I think I am one of them. I mean, I've only listened to the song once. I must start this. I've only had one listen on it. And on first impressions, it's fine. It's good. But it wasn't, like, making any challenges for what I have at my top, like, in my top two or three. Listen, it's good. She has a very good, very good voice, I think. Uh, it's very different from last year's entry. I think that was very dramatic and brash and bold, whereas this is a bit more... I don't want to say quiet, but it's it's not as dramatic. It's definitely not as dramatic and loud. So yeah, I just think, you know, it's an okay song. The chorus is quite catchy, it's quite simple. You know, it works for the Junior Eurovision contest. So yeah, I first impressions, I think it's okay. What do you really, re well, you know, you kind of did say a lot about it already, but what is it, <laughs> what is it that really sold this song to you then? Um, I think, the reason I like it so much, I think it's definitely a junior Eurovision song, like the ooh la 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 bit, it's very childish sort of, like in a good way obviously, but then you compare it, like you put together the mature voice that she has and it just sort of works somehow, um, and that's that's one of the reasons, obviously I've listed quite a few already, um, it's just very cheesy and I just think They've definitely put in a lot of time, I think, Serbia have, um, into making a really good song. Yeah, like I said, it's very well produced. You know, it sounds very polished and finished. We d I don't think we're going to have any changes to it. I think what we've got is that. I think, you know, that's it, done. There's no, no revamps or tweaks or changes, or if they will be, they'll be very minor. Yeah, like I said, I think it's fine, but... Like I said, at the same time, it's, it's just it's just okay for me. It's not stuck in my head. It doesn't stand out like Russia or the Netherlands do for me. Maybe when we're there with the staging, it might stand out a bit more. But just going on a pure audio, it's it's fine. And again, it's it's not to do with her voice or anything. I just don't think there's just something missing, like a little spark, just to make it go wow for me. But that that's just my opinion. And I think Emily and I are gonna disagree on this a lot between now and November. So, as always, to round this up, what is your score for Dunja Ljelovic and Serbia? My score is 9 out of 10. Uh, I would give it a 10 out of 10, but I don't know. I, d I think maybe somewhere out there there might be a chance of another song being my 10 out of 10. For now, I'm going to give it a 9. Um, even though I can't really think of any bad points for it. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a nine, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine has settled on a 7.5. I think it's good. I think she can sing well. I have no major issues, but there's just nothing standing out to make it think it can stand head and shoulders above the rest and win, to be honest. I, I don't think it's going to win, to be honest, and that's why I have to mark it down. I just don't get that wow factor from it in any format. 
But that is what we think. What do you think of Serbia's entry for Junior Eurovision 2016? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Follow us at theeurotrip.com as well. We're updating it every single day and week. And make sure you are watching Junior Eurovision 2016 for Inverletta Malta on the 20th of November 2016. Thank you.